two blocks are connected over a pulley. One is 643 newtons, and the other one is 1134 newtons. Now what we have to figure out is what is the acceleration of both of these blocks. So the key to this one is drawing a correct free body diagram. So what we do is we basically take our magic, magic scissors and cut. Cut here. Okay? And wherever we cut, we have to put a force in. So there's a tension force here and a tension force here. Now this is a rope, so the tension force is identical all the way throughout the rope. It's always a pulling force, so the tension force has to keep this rope taut, rope taut and the tension force here, and the tensions are the same. In a single rope, the tension is always going to be the same. Now, we also have the weight of this, call that W1, weight of this, W2. So we have our four forces now, and all we need to do is sum of the forces. But we have to do it for each individual block. And the key thing we have to know here is they're going to have different accelerations. Okay? So now if we just find, define, well, we'll find y up is positive. And we know, just by looking at this, we know this one's going to go down. So we'll just assume that this is going in the down direction, this is going in the up direction. So since this is block 1, and this is block 2, we can say that A2 is negative A1. They're connected by a pulley. They're going to go the same distance. The distance relation is the same. So the accelerations are going to be the same except negatives. So we can write that down. So first we're going to do some of the forces. Some of the forces equals mass times acceleration for block one. Okay. So the forces we have here are tension in the up direction, weight in the down direction. That's equal to mass times acceleration, and 1a1. Okay, so we know T is just T here. Uh, w is mg, which is 643g. M is 643a1, and that's what we're looking for. So let's do the same for block 2. Sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. Okay, so sum of the forces, we have tension again, minus weight equals mass times acceleration. Okay, we'll put the tension, it's the same. Weight 2 now is 1134 times G equals mass 2 of 1134. A2 now, I'm going to plug in and substitute negative A1 for. Okay, now I have two equations and two unknowns. I don't know A1, that's what I'm looking for, and I don't know T. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to solve for T in this equation and plug in here. So I know T is equal to 643A1 plus 643g, just by adding 643g to the other side. And so now all I have to do is plug that into this t here. So I have 643a plus 643g minus 1134g equals negative 1134 acceleration 1. So all I have to do is combine, sorry, this, this was A1, because I plugged it from here. So all I have to do is combine my like terms now. So the G's here, I go 643 minus 1134. Give me 643 minus 1134 times G, equal to negative 1134. And I'm subtracting 643 to the other side, minus 6. 43A1, and then I say A1 is equal to 643 minus 1134 times G, which is 9.8, and then I divide by this whole term, 
the A1 all by itself, which is negative 11, 34, minus 6, 43. Now you might notice that this number on the bottom is negative, but this number on the top here is also negative. So A1 is going to turn out to be positive, which we have defined it as. So that turned out to be correct. And A1 turns out to be 2.71. Meters per second squared.